how are you doing today i'm roberta you guys are welcome back to my channel okay today i'll be talking about grammar for hexi a2 yeah. so guys i'm willing to share my study guide with you guys yeah so that you guys can pass yeah i'm willing to share for b1 v2 yeah, yeah because i want you all to pass this exam you don't have to take it up to two or three times before you pass but it's okay but i think you have to pass this this time around yeah, yeah. so guys i made 92 percent on my grammar hexi yeah even though english is my second language but i think i'm doing pretty good right <laughs> <laughs> so today I want to give you guys some of the tips that I use to pass my hexi grammar section yeah it's pretty easy guys don't worry so guys yeah. I want to share my study guide with you guys yeah it includes all the classes for the hexi exams yeah so many of it so I'm willing to share for you guys to pass yeah you have to try the nurse hub yeah go practice there because they have lots of questions to practice on so many of them yeah Something. it was supposed to be for the 999 but if you use 50 for you as a code um they're gonna give you 50 percent off so it's awesome and even if you don't pass they're gonna give you back your money and you see there are a whole lot of questions for you to practice on each sections yeah and each topic is like came out in the exam there are many questions there for you a lot of questions lots it's good to practice for this exam seriously mm -hmm. yeah for all the section in the exam yeah i'm willing to share so you can get it under this video description okay the files you can do it too it doesn't matter if it's like two weeks one week one month you can do it okay don't worry you're gonna make it okay let's continue so first of all make sure you remember your eight person speech like the noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. For example, you might be giving a sentence and they may ask you to identify a part of speech in that sentence. So remember to go and understand the examples of this part of speech. So when you are studying, make sure you understand the examples of this part of speech. Please, it's really very important, yeah. They're giving they are giving examples is very very important so guys for the grammar section you have 50 questions yeah for the grammar section it's also 50 for the vocabulary section yeah so 50 each so it's unlike the other classes where you have 25 questions like for amp is 25 for biology 25 and all those types but um grammar section is 50 questions i'm talking about a noun remember that a noun is a name of a person animal place or things right um remember the types of noun the proper noun the common noun the abstract and finally the collective noun so learn how to use them in a sentence like no they're different examples so yeah it's not that hard right okay let's move on <laughs> now let's talk about pronoun you know the meaning of pronoun pronoun is a word that can be used to replace a noun so pro means a master so it's a master of a noun it can be used to replace it yeah a noun okay let's practice this from nurse herb which of the following sentence is a pronoun helen has been shoplifting and she will be grounded for weeks mm. what do you think she yeah that is the answer i guess so okay let's check the answer um, okay we got it that's amazing apart from the pronoun make sure you know the meaning of your antecedents yeah know that is a word that takes place of a noun or another pronoun or just a group of word acting as a noun hmm. that sounds like a poem oh my gosh no it looks as if i was reciting a poem or a rhyme or something like that <laughs> okay let's continue Mm. On a personal pronoun, we have three types the first, the second, and the third person. The first person pronoun is me talking, the second person is you I'm talking to, while the third person is what I'm talking about, or the people I'm talking about. Yeah, so I am the first person, you listening to me is the second person, and people or things I'm talking about is the third person. Yeah, 
don't forget that it can be singular or plural for example i am asking you to give them food so i is a first person singular you is a second person singular and them is a third person plural so i hope you understand that all right let's go to the other type of pronoun which is possessive pronoun you just explain itself it means possession ownership yeah for possessive pronoun yeah okay let me give you guys an example um that flower there is mine see mine is a possessive pronoun and that clock there is his so his is a, also a possessive pronoun and also remember that a possessive pronoun does not contain any apost apostrophe yeah no apostrophe Chicken pop. oh my god this is really fun do you think i can be a good teacher ah Ah, oh, whatever okay let's continue let's talk about adjective yeah. so how can you remember the meaning of adjective adjective is a word or a phrase or um a clause that modifies a pronoun or a noun yeah it modifies that's the word it answers questions like how much which one what happened um yeah something like that <laughs> yeah and don't forget that there is also a type of verb form that functions as an adjective yeah it is called a participle yeah and it is always end with ing or ed okay let's talk about the verb you know the meaning of that a verb is a word or a phrase that is used to express an action or a state of being yeah so in other words but to me a simple way i used to understand verb is that um, a verb is a doing word or an action word yeah like running eating talking writing all these are words that expresses an action so a verb is a doing word or an action word that's it okay an example they gave in the book is mary walks is a present tense mary walked is a past tense and mary will walk is a future tense Okay, let's try this one. Let's help. Which of the following sentence is a verb? My father sings the same ridiculous song every morning. Mm. I think it sings because it explains an action. Remember, a verb is a doing word or an action word. Okay, let's check it out. Yay, we got it. You see, you need to try this. It's really awesome to practice. I'm doing my exam. What really confused me is how to understand the subject verb agreement and also the linking verbs too. But now I've got to understand that linking verbs does not show any action. Yeah, it doesn't show any action. An example of those linking verbs are am, is, are, was, were, been, be. Okay, let me give an example. Um, that girl is my classmate. So, the is in this sentence is a linking verb. Yeah. You can also go through the study guide under this video description. Yeah, for the hex exam and practice more, study hard. Don't worry, you're gonna make it. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about the adverb. You know the meaning, right? Is a word, a phrase, or a clause that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb so you guys know what it means to modify something um to like improve on something to improve it and um, make it look less extreme that's the work of an adverb for example the baby talks slowly slowly is an adverb yeah um another one um okay okay let me um try this one the student studied very hard for this examination so very is an adverb yeah. hey guys let's talk about preposition yeah so it is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or a pronoun to some other words in the sentence yeah an example of a preposition can be within um above on at beside between binet across against there's so many anything that shows the relationship between the pronoun and the noun yeah. remember what um a compound preposition is it means that any preposition that contains more than one word yeah 
company the company means more than one. i hope you still understand what a prepositional phrase is and um, is any phrase that started with a preposition and ends with either a noun or a pronoun yeah it's an object for some example john left the house at noon so can you tell me the prepositional phrase there noon yeah that's right you're right let's talk about conjunction you know what that means um it's join words together like it's joy clause or phrase or what it's just join them together yeah for example have you heard about fan boys for and no but or yet so those are example of um conjunction yeah now let's talk about interjection <gasps> oh my gosh in other words an interjection is just a word that expresses an emotion it's just an exclamation <gasps> what oh my gosh <gasps> that's just an example <laughs> yeah okay also learn to understand your clause your direct clause your indirect clause your phrase your predicate um your adjective predicate yeah um sentence ob oh gosh what did i say how can i say it now um subject object agreement yeah go read about them yeah for example they might make a sentence and ask you like to find the object of the sentence or subject you know so Go read about them, study very hard. Don't worry, you're gonna make it okay. Um, apart from finding, learning how to find a subject in a sentence or an object in a sentence, um, study about your predicate nominative. Yeah, my baby is kind of forcing. Oh, he needs my attention. Okay, guys, um, finally, make sure you learn how to um, you understand your grammatical errors. Yeah, you know that ones. Um, pronoun sentence, go read about it. Um, your pronoun case, study them. Um, learn how to use your comma, full stop, or no apostrophe. It's very important. Yeah. And um, okay, and these words affect the verses. Effect. Yay. Um, it's kind of confusing. Learn the difference between them two. Make sure you understand how to use all these words listed here. Yeah, all of them. Just make sure you know how to you know, understand them. Yeah, it, it came out to the exam. Yeah. Among verses between. Yeah. It's in your book too. It's also in this study manual. Go practice more on this help. Oh my gosh. Baby, still this so I think I'll be coming back for a part two of this grammar. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching my video and please remember you know, to subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you. I wish you good luck on the exams. Okay, I'm coming! <laughs>